Hello Gators, this is 5-4 inequalities in one triangle. I can use theorems to compare sides and angles of a triangle. Let's take a look at these two triangles. The one triangle is a right triangle and in a right triangle we know that angle A, the right angle, is the biggest angle in the triangle and we know the side opposite the right angle is the longest side. So we know that this is the longest side. What happens if something is not a right triangle? And it looks like this is the biggest angle. It's opening up the widest. And notice it's opposite the longest side. Let's take a look at this triangle again. Let's see which angle appears to be the smallest. And the smallest means it's not opening up as much. Notice that angle N appears to be the smallest and it's actually opposite the shortest side. So this idea of biggest angle opposite longest side, smallest angle opposite smallest side is very real. The theorem says if two sides of a triangle are not congruent, then the larger angle lies opposite the longer side. So here's B, it is long, grr, and here is A, it is shorter, and so um, the angle opposite B will be larger, and the angle opposite uh, the shorter side A will be smaller. That's what the theorem is telling us. Okay, let's go ahead and use that. Let's try to figure out the largest angle and the smallest angle. The largest angle will always be opposite the longest side. Here's the longest side. So opposite the longest side will be the measure of angle E. Angle E will have the largest measure. What will have the smallest measure? We look at the shortest side. This is the shortest side. And the smallest angle is always opposite the shortest side. So that will be the measure of angle D. All right, let's take a look uh, at looking at angles. If angle B right here is uh, larger and angle A is smaller, then we know that the side opposite the larger uh, side B will be longer because it's opposite a larger angle and the side opposite the smaller angle A will be shorter. So again smaller angle opposite shorter side larger angle opposite longer side. Okay let's take a look at this and see if we can de uh, decide which one is the longest side. First let's find the missing angle. So I take 180 and I subtract these two, these two added together is 112. When I subtract, that's uh, going to be 68. So this angle is 68 degrees. Now I can make a decision on what the longest side is. The longest side is always opposite the biggest angle. Here's the biggest angle, and the side opposite it will be, the longest will be the, that side opposite, which is segment LM. Longest will be LM. They're always opposite of each other. Let's take a look and identify the longest side and the shortest side. First, I've got to figure out the third side. So I'm going to take 180. I'm going to add these two together. That's going to be 123. 123. I'm going to subtract. And that's going to be 57. So this is 57 degrees and those all add up to 180. Now to figure out the longest side, I'm going to look for the largest angle. Here's the largest angle, and opposite the largest angle is segment OP. OP will be the longest. The shortest is always opposite the smallest angle. Here is the smallest angle, not very small, but it's still smaller than the other two, and so the side opposite the smaller angle will be NP. Okay, now let's talk about the triangle inequality theorem. This tells us how three sides of a triangle will be. And it says the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. 
So the, this does not make a triangle. Notice that the number two, and if I add the other number two, that is not greater than five. Do you see? Two plus two is not greater than five, and you can see I can't make a triangle. Now these two sides, three and two, three and two are not greater than five, so they don't make a triangle. The triangle collapses right here. So the two sides have to always add up to more than the third. Let's go ahead and take a look at this um, triangle and see if we can figure out the possibilities of the third side. So I took two of the sides, uh, 11 and x, 11 and x, and I know it has to be greater than 16. And I took another two sides, 16 and x, and I know it has to be greater than the third side, which is 11. And I know these two sides, 11 and 16, have to be greater than the third side. So I have three in, uh, inequalities. I'm going to solve by subtracting 11 on both sides. So I know x, this side, has to be greater than 5. When I subtract 16 on both sides, x is greater than negative 5. Now x cannot be a negative number, so I throw away this. This is not very helpful. And then I have 11 plus 16 is greater than x which means uh, 27 is greater than x, and I just turned it around. Remember, uh, 27 greater than x is the same thing as x is less than 27. So here are the two requirements. x has to be between 27, and it has to be greater than 5. So x will be between these numbers. If x is between these two numbers, then this will work. Like for instance, let x be equal to, let's say, the number um, 20. Okay, the number 20. So if I were to put 20 in here, notice that these two, 11 and 16, add up to more than 20. Notice that 20 and 16 add up to more than 11. Notice that 11 and 20 add up to more than 16. So any of these answers would work for x. We have lots of possibilities for x. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Could a triangle have these lengths? 16, 39, 28. Let me go ahead and draw 39 down here. And the question is, if one side is 16 and the other side is 28, will they make a triangle? So let's go ahead and add 16 and 28 and see how it compares to 39. So this will add up to, uh, Let's see, 14, 4 carry 144. So these two will actually meet, that they will actually meet to make a triangle because these two numbers add up to more than 39. Okay, the next question says, what would the possibility of the third side be? So one is 30, one is 50, and we don't know what the other one is. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take two of these, and we know it has to be greater than the third. Then we're going to take these two greater than the third, and then these two greater than the third. When I solve for x, I know that x has to be greater than 20. I throw this one away because x is always going to be greater than negative 20. And then we have 30 plus 50, which is 80, is greater than x. So I turn it around and say x is less than 80. So x has to be smaller than 80 but it has to be greater than 20. Any number lying between 20 and 80 will work. All right, so what we've done in this lesson is we've talked about the longest side is opposite the largest angle, the shortest side is opposite the smallest angle, that's the uh, inequalities of one triangle, and the last thing we talked about was the triangle inequality theorem where an the sum of any two sides has to be greater than the third side, otherwise the triangle won't make. And this is the end of the screencast.